Welcome to Stephen Carlson Show, where we celebrate the American dream and the incredible small businesses that make everything possible. Today, I want to tell you about a company that I recently discovered at HAI Heli Expo 2023. Their patented noise cancellation technology caught my attention, which they've incorporated into their flagship product, the Boom. But they're more than just a tech startup. They have a fascinating history as a Wall Street tech firm that designed advanced voice recognition for traders on the New York Stock Exchange floor over 20 years ago. Their technology was ahead of the time and allowed traders to make quick and accurate trades with just their voices on the trading floor. 30 plus years ago, our, what we did was we were a software company and uh, we did something well before Siri. We figured out the best place to do voice recognition software was on the trading floor. Found the there was nothing back ago. then. There was very little back then. So 25 years ago, our first customer on Wall Street was uh, Goldman Sachs. Okay. And we, uh, for them, we did something very, very unique on that trading desk, on that trading floor. We could allow traders to say things like, you know, Biden does not have the board. And, uh, and they could pick and up exactly they could, what they were saying, even as they're saying it very, saying it very, very, very fast. And we did a lot of semantic uh, checking. We knew, we knew exactly what the price of a particular stock was at the time. So we did. So you were also correcting for any an anomalies in the audio. You could say, okay, well, I, he should have been saying this. So you knew kind of the range of what exactly. he'd be saying. But I'd say, for example, if our recognizer thought it was three and three quarters, because we already heard IBM, we know it's trading in 90, so it's 93 and three quarters and not three and three quarters. So we did contact. That makes sense. Okay. So that was, and we were the best in the world. Nobody else was there. So we charged almost a million dollars for 10 users, mm -hmm. which they willingly paid. And Goldman Sachs was the first. Then we had Merrill Lynch at UBS Swarburg and other top, top Wall Street firms. Then Goldman came to us and said, hey, we love your stuff. Can you make it work on the New York Stock Exchange? Luckily for us. We had hired a guy, and Joe is his name, and he did a brilliant job. He solved that whole problem using reflection on a handset. Those days on Wall Street, they used handsets, not headsets. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we just chained the mouthpiece, put our new mouthpiece in with this reflection device, solved the problem 100%. It didn't take long for them to realize that their technology could be used for more than just day trading. They saw a need for noise cancellation technology in everyday life. And that's when they decided to expand their business and create a product line that benefits basically everyone. Their team of engineers and researchers set out to make the world a quieter place. Today, they have patented technology that can cancel out pretty much any kind of noise from vehicle traffic, airplanes, helicopters, and even a few noisy dogs. But what really impressed me the most about their noise cancellation tech was helicopters, of course. The noise pressure level in the test is at least 110 decibels. This is generic noise canceling microphone. The background noise is taken from inside a Black Hawk helicopter. This is the boom. The background noise is taken from inside a Black Hawk helicopter. I will now speak quietly. The boom's unique technology allows you to speak quietly in a noisy environment and still be heard clearly. Got it. And I grew up Air Force brat, so, so we got to miniaturize it. Yes. Uh, my dad was in the Air Force, so we managed to miniaturize it to a dime without losing any other quality. quality. And then we said, hey, you know, this is a big opportunity. Why don't we make something that would be a retrofit for existing aviation headsets and helmets? So then we invented and made the, the Cobra mic. Which, which that one, so that I could replace the boom that I have on my headset. You just replace the mic on your aviation helmet right. or headset. And this Cobra mic now is considered the world's best noise canceling microphone. And people use it in helicopters and fixed wing with the doors open. They dangle out of helicopters. We've shipped tens of thousands of the US forces, other forces were. What's the price point if somebody wanted to purchase this one of those? A couple hundred dollars. Oh, that's nothing. That's not, okay. Yeah. When you have their microphones installed in your headsets, it can almost completely eliminate all the engine noise and the blade noise inside the helicopter. And as a helicopter pilot myself, I can't help but think about upgrading the helicopter's headsets before my next trip. Their technology is not only perfect for personal use, but also for businesses with open floor plan offices or call centers, even factories that have dangerously high levels of noise. And we put the same secret sauce that we invented here on, on a consumer headset 
the one I'm wearing here. This is called the Boom E. Okay. And this particular version, it's our latest version. Uh, literally, it, 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 it's just on our website. But this one, GE Nuclear has put on all their control centers. And this is a Bluetooth dongle, so it's attached mm -hmm. to my phone. Right. But I could take the dongle out and have a cable from here to my computer. It's right to your headset. For, for Zoom calls. Or I could have a cable to a, let's say, a radio. Okay. That's how GE Nuclear is using it, with cable to the radio. So this also works perfect in a call center because it removes all the background exactly. noise. Exactly. And, and not just this version. We All of these have boom mics. Uh, so we have different versions for call centers. Okay. And what's very unique about call centers and, or even working from home is the boom with Zoom has now become a great thing. Hmm. And what we do, which is completely counterintuitive, when a team of people are on the boom with Zoom, we ins give an instruction that is totally counterintuitive. We tell everyone not to mute. Okay. Because we want everyone to engage. The noise is not getting in any way. And when they want to say something, we want them to say something. Of course. When you tell everyone to mute, the first thing that happens is people start thinking, is it worth me raising my hand? Is oh, that makes sense. And so, that takes And that re removes some of the collaboration of what's going on. Absolutely. Because you all are thinking, is it, I know I have an idea, but is it really worth saying, okay, I'll de -mute me now. There's still noise in the background. They're going to hear that. So they're going to hear the kids or the dogs or whatever. Or Starbucks, the noise. They have already partnered with several companies and they have had incredible results. As an American small business, they embody the spirit of entrepreneurship and competition. They are confident in their ability to innovate and improve and are working to expand their product line and partnering with even more businesses daily. The Boom is a prime example of American small business success, and I'm thrilled to feature them here on my show. If you're looking for noise cancellation technology that just simply works, check out their fantastic line of products. Thanks for watching.